Auntie's Creative Studio. I'm Auntie. Today we are going to do a prayer card. I'm going to use these prayer cards that I picked up at Dollar Tree this past week. And I'm going to use hopefully some of these stamps that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And a stencil from Dollar Tree. This one came from Michael's. Brand new. I've never even took it out of the package. We may use some of it. And this came from scrapbook.com. And it's handmade. Uh, it's got just uh, little um, sayings of thinking of you. Just for you. Handmade by you. It's uh, called uh, Handmade st uh, Stencils. And um, I, it was free. But you had to pay shipping. And handling. And uh, so that's that. And I've already picked out my card. And I've already cut it down to size. Um. Uh, Cast your cures on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the right just fall. Psalms fifty five twenty two. So I'm gonna just get put these out of my way. But this is the color uh, palette, kind of like I've picked out to go along with this. Um, we'll see how well this does. I got a piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock that I'm gonna use as a protection of my uh, my table put these out of my way and first of all I'm going to open the uh, stencil But I'm going to make my own background. This looks like it's got a, some type of, of... Just with the butterflies. Which way do I need to go with this? I think I'm going to go like this. I'm going to take some ta uh, washi tape and tape my stencil down to my cardstock. And I'm just using old washi tape. It's if y'all hate figure, if y'all don't know this, but I think washi tape's got a lifespan because this stuff is not. Uh, it tries to tear on me every time I uh, get in, on, into it. And um, I've got cotton balls. I love my cotton balls, y'all. I'm going with um, and y'all know me well enough to know that I'm going to use um, my uh, Stampin' Up um, inks because that's about all I got because I like to Stampin' Up inks and uh so that's what I eat, what I'm I'm going to be using. And I'm going to take that to my table where it won't be shifting and I know I'm in frame. <sighs> and I'm uh first of all I'm taking the um the pumpkin uh, out of the eggplant and I'm gonna get it all over me. And I'm just gonna go in and dab this in just like so onto the cardstock and the stencil and I'm not doing nothing I mean I'm I don't even have an idea of how this is going to come out I'm just going to use different forms with this I'm getting ink all over me. I don't even know where my baby wipes is. Uh, this is what happens when you get other people out in your craft room. And now I'm going in with uh, uh, Mella something. 
this pink. But I'm just going in. I mean, I'm just going in just like I was. Just like so. You can do use daubles or what you've got. I mean, cotton balls to me, I can do more with a cotton ball than I can with most most of the to main tools. Uh, that's just me. Uh, everybody's different. I know, I get that. And uh, I'm going in with a uh, marina mist. That's a bluish turquoise. That's the one I'm wanting. Ah, I see the one I'm wanting. So it'll be okay. So how's everybody doing? I've had a busy day few days I've been, been going a lot and I'm just like I said, I am just taking some of the Dollar Tree finds that I have found over the last week or so and doing what I like to do is make a card and make a background. If you followed me for very long, you know I love to do my back own backgrounds. Um, it's just my pro my what I like to do. Um, because a lot of times I can't find what I want. And, uh, so it's just easier for me to go in. And now I'm using, uh, Rose Red. And I'm just going to go in and kind of give this a, a brush on each of the... With, um... This is a, just a makeup brush from uh, Dollar Tree. And I am not sponsored by Dollar Tree by no means. Okay, let's pull this off and see what, what kind of job we've done or what kind of mess we've made. Mm. Ooh, I like that. Now, I'm just going to go around with the brush and just do my edges. And some maybe. This is what I want on that paper if I'm not working on my glass mat. And my glass mat is underneath this, believe it or not. Okay, I'm going to even ink this. think about that y'all like how that came out or is it just me I need a 
the stamp block. Face white. I need uh, my mento or my stays on black. And I need my butterfly stamps. <laughs> I'm like, uh, where's my stuff at? Don't do what I did. Uh. Mm. I'm just going to stamp a few of these off. Because I'm going to run this through the skin and cut. I'm gonna make a mess yet. Let's get this one more butterfly. I said, man, I am not doing good. At Stamping today. Mm, I guess I'll have to do all of that room for. Let's do this row. Make it. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to pause y'all. Well, I can do the, uh, I'm going to do my fancy cutting with the uh, skin and cut. Because I'm just lazy today. I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, okay. We back. Um, I got, I re-stamped these because I didn't like how they stamped with the Mento ink and used the uh, Stay Zone. So, yeah, I got more probably more than all. I know I've got more than I needed, but while I was cutting, I decided to just go ahead and cut. Well, I don't have to go back and do it again. I am going to use. <laughs> I'm thinking we have glasses, guys. Where is my little colored pencil? Huh. did I do with them? I had them. Guess I won't be using those. Because I can't find them. So we're just going to use my alcohol markers because they're the easiest to get to. <sighs> Let's do a butterfly yellow. So what's everybody up to today? Takes me. Do y'all ever put stuff up and then can't find it when you go to use it? I've got this basket beside my desk of all new supplies 
it would be neat, I thought. But it's not now. Okay, we found them. They was in the basket just further further down than what they normally been in. So, I got crisis is over with. And let me get some dog hair and human hair out of this. I'm going to take this uh, PC994. And these are Prism colored pencils. And I've already colored this yellow with the marker. But I'm just going to go in and highlight some with this. Just like so. I'm trying to give it a different color. That's just one solid one. And I'm going to take this blend, uh, color blend, uh, blending tool and just ease on out with it. And you can do this with, uh, your, um, uh, Copic or your alcohol markers. I'm just doing this with colored pencils because I, I don't know. I've just got what I like using colored pencils lately. But I'm just blending this out. And you can do this even with a white. Um colored pencil um just don't go over it if you're using colored pencils don't go over it with uh your markers because it will the wax in the colored pencils will mess up your markers i do know that from experience And then just scrap your cold, your colorless pencil off. Let's see what else do we want? Let's do this butterfly. Let's go with the. Do I have a? I just got the 36 kit. Uh, colored pencils and Prism cones. There will be a link down below with Amazon. Now, everything I'm using cannot is not on Amazon. Uh, most of it is from the Dollar Tree. Today, more stamping up, but the stamp set and the uh, stencil is both from Dollar Tree.
Apple shop in here. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess. Okay. Let me empty it. I just love how these blend out with the the Let's make a rose. Let's do the rose in a violet blue. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just calling this, and I'm not really doing a whole lot to it. I'm just not making really head beans or tails out of this. And I'm going to use my white. I'm going to sharpen it. But like I said, I've been playing with these. I've got, I've had these about a month now. And uh, I really enjoy using them. Ah, I didn't want a mess. Does anybody else make messes? Or is it just me? Shaving. Picture shavings all over the place now. Pretty moly. I'm going to sharpen this. I'm having issues. Get back up. And then I'm just going to go in and just highlight. Then we're going to go back in with the Step y'all. Okay, I'm gonna take my scissors and do some faint fussy cutting on this because of the blue is a uh, Mirrored onto the white. Now I cut these out with the skin and cut, the brother skin and cut, and uh, cause I'm just don't like to do. It. And I cut more than I needed, 
But I usually do if I'm using the scan and cut because it does it all magically and then I can save save them if I need if I want to. Okay. Now and where we're gonna place these at. Alright. Okay, I'm going to use the stamp from um, scrapbook.com, Thinking of You. And I'm just going to stamp it on white uh, cardstock with a uh, Stay Zone ink. And I'm, I'm going to try to get this out. Don't want to come out. This is why I like the my stamping jig. If it don't come out, you can always re-stamp right over it. But I'm too lazy to find it today. I had it last night. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, I'm taking my real memory people's trimmer. And get the paper off of it that I've got on it. And uh, I'm just going to trim this down to size. And then I'm just going to cut. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll be okay. Fly. Okay, now let's find. Let's uh, let's see. What's my blue? Let's ink around the edge of this. And I'm using the uh, Dampin' Up ink again. And I'm just going to use a cotton ball and just go around the edges like so. <sighs> and then I am going to use Crafter Squares Pop Dot Tape on this. Because I want it to stand out, or up, should I say. And if you don't know where to get... Now, I have not used this long term. So I cannot tell you if how good it stays on. But what I have used, I, I, I like it. Um... Mostly for a buck. I mean, what do you expect for a buck? <laughs> and now. Oh boy. Did I leave my butterflies? And my rose. Here they are. Okay, I'm going to put this on with more tape. And I'm just kind of making it. I mean, this is going to be really 3D here. What I'm thinking. Let's get it this way. 
And I'm just cutting it just with my images. And these, if you want to know, these is uh, Real Keeper Memory uh, scissors. I got them in a kit uh, a couple years ago. And I like them. I use them a lot, actually. Actually. And then let's put this one here. And get some waste tape. And the with it being a bag, if you waste it, don't your pocketbook as much. Uh, my husband probably would say yes it does, but because my husband's a cheapskate. He can stretch a penny further than anybody I know. And I think this is the most uh, foam tape I have ever used on a project at one time. Okay, what does this need? It needs some green. What do y'all think? Maybe not. Maybe so. No. Okay. It needs something. Let me think on this. Okay. Um, I went off camera to think about what else to add to this, and I really don't know. But I think the little um, hand mark, the little um, rinds, like hand stitching, has helped it. And um, I did a lot of it off camera, but I'm going to just go ahead and finish it up. And I am using like a chocolate gray marker. Mm -hmm. Usually I use black, but some, and I thought this was black until I started using it. But it's a real dark gray. <sighs> yeah, I like that a lot better. And then I'm going to use one of these uh, rhinestones, and I'm going to use um, a little glue, and I'm just going to stick it a dot, a couple dots of glue on it, and I am going to stick it right there. Now I'm going to measure this because I'm not for sure what size it is. It's going to. I'm getting my paper trimmer back out. And I'm going to get a piece of white cardstock. And I'm just using Nina Bright White. I buy this at Walmart. Uh, they've changed it right lately uh, to this. So, if y'all go looking for it at Walmart, you won't find it. It's a Astro Bright Premium Smooth Card. Formerly Nina Bright White. I don't know. I haven't opened this package yet, but I'll, I'll be working on it pretty soon. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting this down to five, five and a half, in half of the um, landscape or um, whatever you want to call it. 
I mean, I'm taking an inch. Let me think. Alright, it's four inches. It's eight and a half, half an inch. I think. I ain't gonna square tip today. We'll find out. And now I'm just gonna fold it. And yes, you can use a bone folder to do that. Uh, perfect. And I am going to use salt glitter glue. And I'm just going to put some glue on this. Okay, now finding my scripture. Ah. And I'm going to stick this in the inside of it with some art glitter glue. I mean, on the back of it, since we've got all these little stamps, I'm going to put um, this little stamp that says homemade, handmade, handmade, handmade. At least if I can find my stamp block. And I'm just going to use mint though. I don't know where the stay zone is. It's on my messy desk. Y'all see how I craft. Y'all would not. Y'all would be paused. Y'all wouldn't know how I ever got anything done. But some days I don't know. And then I'm going to sign my name. And put bye. And Jones at 2021 and we have us a uh, thinking of you card with a script in it with the pearl, uh, pearl cards that was gotten at Dollar Tree for a buck there's 20 of them so you can make 20 different types of cards with it um we use the um Craft the square stamps uh, from um, the Dollar Tree. And we use the foam, do uh, foam tape from Dollar Tree. So, even if you want to craft and you don't have a whole lot of money, you still can craft. Thankfully, Dollar Tree is getting more and more stuff. Um, I went Dollar Tree shopping the other day, and I've got I've got a haul that I'm probably it'll probably be out by the time uh this video is. But uh, we uh, I went to eight different uh Dollar Trees and uh, found a lot of stuff, but didn't find a lot. Does that make sense? Me. Right. Well, a little baggie. No, I just forgot him. I had a whole bunch of them. Well, I'll just use one of these. Oh, I see. And I'm gonna just put like all my leftovers in here in this a bag in a little uh, plastic bag while I'll have them. And I'll just stick them in my stamp set. 
Well, I know these is those stamps. Um, and just close the lid. Well, close the flap. But anyways, getting back to the Dollar Tree. Two of them didn't have, I mean, I was really disappointed in a lot of them. And this was in Northwest Arkansas. And Northwest Arkansas, if you don't know, is bigger than... I mean, it's one of the bigger part of Arkansas. And uh, I was just disappointed in the items that was at Dollar Tree. Some of them, I went into one... It, they had so much trash in the floor that it was... And it, it, I mean, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is a business. It was bad. Um, then I went into a few that the shelves was empty. I mean, all the shelves was empty. Now I'm thinking, okay. Uh, but for stamps, they didn't have... I didn't find no stamp sets at any of those eight. And no dies that everybody says they get. And so that's why I mainly went to looking for. But I did find some pretty st uh, stickers and uh, stencils and stuff. So with that being said, I'm going to close this video here. I hope y'all enjoy this video. And yes, it's longer than normal. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And make somebody a card today and uh, thinking of you because with the pandemic going on, people's lonely and people's needing lift, lift ups. Have a blessed day. Bye. I'll catch y'all later. Have, have a good one.